Hello, today we're going to talk about securing your Connect script. So there's going to be a few pieces to this. In the first piece, we're going to show you how to use requires to hide some of the information. And then we'll start talking a little bit more about the security of Connect script. So when you start working with MySQL uh, using PHP, you certainly, everyone starts off at a point like this, right? Where you're, you're creating a database connection. You might use a different variable name there, but you're using some kind of a function, right? MySQL connect, MySQL I connect. Even if this was done with PDO, the same kind of principles would apply. Uh, you, you're opening up a connection to a database. And so the problem with writing a line like this, which has to happen at some point, is you've got like uh, there's my username there's my password there's the name of my database that's not the kind of thing that I would want anyone else to put their eyes on and so it seems like a problem to have that stuff just sitting here at the top of every script that I write so one thing that we can do to help secure this is we can take that line and I can cut it I can create a new file I can paste it into a new page and I can save this as, we'll call it something like a db.php. So that is a new file that exists. And now I head over to this thing. And rather than have those credentials right there, I can just write a simple require statement. So db.php. You can call it whatever you want to call it. And so notice that now, imagine if this was a functional page script. I had some, say I had some HTML or some PHP here. I no longer have my username and password broadcast on the page. Now let me save this and show you that it does in fact work. Oh, well, that's, that's an old error. Um, when you see nothing displayed at all, it basically means that it worked. That's one of the weird things, unsatisfying things about working with uh, MySQL is that by default, nothing happens. But the fact that there is no error, that tells me that it worked. So this right here is the logical equivalent to what I had like 60 seconds ago. But now my username and password are not blasted onto the page. So that's one aspect of securing your Connect script. The other is a little bit more complicated. I'll save that. Uh, let me just make sure that that works. And it does. Right, I didn't have my files saved, so that made me a little bit nervous. So the next part of this thing to understand is let's look at our actual file structure. So when you write a require, like I did right here, that means look in the current directory for something called db.php. Now that idea of a current directory is a bit problematic. So let's talk about the bigger picture here. So in the world of XAMPP, um, your public directory is called htdocs. And what that means is that everything in that htdocs folder is out there for the world to see if they could somehow gain access to it. Everything above that in the hierarchy is private by default. These things are true, things can be modified, but in a general sense, everything in here is public. And since this folder is inside of that folder, it's public. right? So I've got this really secure script here with a username and a password, but it's out there for the rest of the world right now, and that's not great. Everything in this htdocs folder is public, including that. Now, the, the way to secure this is to take that db file, I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to go up one directory, going to go up another directory. And so here, typically what we do is at this this level, the level which contains htdocs, if you create a folder here, that folder won't be publicly available. So I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call it ABC, which is a ridiculous name. I just have a bunch of folders. Eh, that's not a good name. Well, I, don't, I have no idea what I did actually. So uh, I'm gonna call that folder ABC and I'm going to paste that connect script in there. So all I did is I moved it from the public domain to a private folder. I'll show you, so it's in this folder called ABC. If, now just to show you where it was and where it isn't now, I used to be inside of htdocs, I used to be inside of something called ytdemo, and you see that that file is no longer there, which means that it's no longer publicly accessible. Um, so when I head back to Notepad++, the first thing I do is I get yelled at because it says, hey, this file doesn't exist anymore. It's not that it doesn't exist, it's just not where it's expecting to find it, and that's okay. So this path name is no longer valid because, as you saw, this file is not in that folder anymore. And as I mentioned, when you write a require, it's implicit that that require is written relative to the current directory. So what you need to do is you need to navigate this require up to that private folder. So the process is uh, if I go up one, I'm in htdocs. If I go up two, I'm in xamp. 
and now I need to, then I need to go down one into ABC and then you can see the name of that file so what that looks like this is Linux here so uh, dot dot forward slash that's up one dot dot forward slash that's up two and then that folder was called ABC and then a forward slash so that means up one up two into a folder called ABC to a file called db.php and I save that and you'll see that it works well, I hope it works. So that means, uh, so now what I've done now is I've taken a file which is sitting in a public directory and I have connected it to a connect script which is out of the public directory. And so that is just another measure that you can take to secure your connect file. So the first step was removing the raw just username and password from the top of every file. And the second step was taking that connect script and putting it in a secure location. So hopefully that helps you to better understand how to secure your application. Thanks for watching.